Hi, my name is Sean Good and I'm an attorney at The Good Law Group. This is the first video of a two-part series on diabetic and peripheral neuropathy. Peripheral neuropathy is damage to the nerves outside of the central nervous system. These are the nerves that are outside the brain and outside of the spine. Neuropathy can be caused by a variety of conditions and often people that experience diabetes suffer from diabetic neuropathy. Some estimates suggest that 50% of diabetics experience some form of neuropathy. The most common symptoms of both diabetic neuropathy and peripheral neuropathy are numbness, tingling, and burning. This can affect an individual's ability to function in the workplace on a consistent and meaningful basis, and therefore can qualify an individual for Social Security disability benefits. As always, simply being diagnosed with diabetic neuropathy or peripheral neuropathy is not gonna be enough to win a Social Security disability case. Documentation through an EMG is the best evidence for proving an individual has either diabetic neuropathy or peripheral neuropathy. As I said before, since it's estimated that roughly 50% of people with diabetes develop neuropathy, a lot of doctors who treat people with diabetes do not order EMGs to prove that their patient has peripheral or diabetic neuropathy. In a disability case, this is a problem because although it's extremely likely that an individual with diabetes who's complaining of numbness, tingling, burning, and weakness has diabetic neuropathy, the Social Security Administration does not just take the doctor's statement that somebody has it unless it's supported by an EMG. So if you or a loved one's been diagnosed with peripheral neuropathy or diabetic neuropathy and needs help with their social security case, please feel free to give us a call at 847-577-4476. Thanks for watching.